Cancer, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the sign of Cancer. It is not going to resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Cancer placement that you may resonate with, some of the messages may also resonate with you. Personal reading information and jewelry seen linked and listed in the description box. At the end, we will pull some oracles, give you some more guidance for the week. Jumping right in, Cancer. I do only take jumpers, so I appreciate your patience. In advance, your first card out this week's strongest energy is the Seven of Swords, followed by Major Arcana, the Hierophant, Taurus energy. We also have here the Nine of Wands, the Two of Cups, the Ace of Cups. One more card for Cancer, please. So it does seem to be regarding some sort of connection, friend, family member, lover, um, somebody you love. Love is not only romantic. Definitely mutual love between whoever you and between whoever this is. You and whoever this is. We have the Death card, Major Arcana. And there you are. Cancer Energy Major Arcana, the Chariot. So standing in your power, very much showing up as your true self. Also a sense of moving. Something is finally able to move. Something is finally able to transform. Bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Cups. Water sign energy, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Um, with the Seven of Swords and the Two of Cups in the past position, I do get whoever it is you're dealing with could be you as well. That was kind of maybe in denial. Or somebody could have been also avoiding making a commitment to a particular situation or potential. This could be your community. This could be, you know, um, parents. <laughs> they want you to do something and you don't want to do something. Or someone you know you want them to do something for you. And, you know, they're kind of been avoiding this. Whatever this commitment energy is with the Hierophant. It's also five energy. Energy of change. But uh, usually a sense of devotion with the Hierophant. You know, something you are devoted to, something you are committed to, whether it's a person, place, or thing. There was a bit of avoiding this with the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is a card of sort of um, trying to get around things, not having, you know, trying to have to, trying to avoid doing something. Even though, you know, there is love here. It could also be a relationship that someone was avoiding. Someone was avoiding commitment, even though there was mutual love here. I don't think that avoidance is going to be much longer. The Seven of Swords is in the past position. So if you are dealing with someone or something, a situation, someone you love, they love you. Um, you would know the love is mutual. If you don't know the love is mutual, then this is probably not your story. But um, I don't think there's a sense of... Um, the Seven of Swords can be a sense of like um, buying time, I just heard. <clears throat> someone could have been buying time here. Buying time for this connection or buying time to commit... Like they, they plan on committed, but at the time it wasn't the right time. They kind of wanted to do things, thing, do some things, get some things done, waiting for something to be over, especially with the death card here. But it looks like now's the time. Now it's time to move. Now it's time to progress with that chariot energy. Somebody could literally be moving. Um, but now somebody's all in is the vibe that I'm getting here. They don't want to give up on the situation. Nine of Wands is very much, I, uh, I'm a little tired, but I'm still in this. I'm still here. I haven't, you know, waved. I haven't surrendered. I still want this to work. I still want this to change. I still want to progress. And here is the communication about it. Yeah, this has been stressing whoever this out. Lots of stress here with the Seven of Swords. So whoever definitely is in the Seven of Swords is whoever's in the Nine of Swords. All about stress, can't sleep, very much something weighing heavy on their mind. So this is not a question of does someone love you or do they want to do something they do. But there's a very probably particular reason as to why they're not with the Seven of Swords. It does seem like a buying time energy. And they are. They very much know you don't have time to waste. Queen of Swords, whether you have air in your chart or not. Um, Queen of Swords, she don't play no games. This person knows you will leave them. You will not include them. Another five. You probably have already with the Queen of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. You've kind of like, okay, well, if I can't rely on you or if you're not ready. And probably they haven't told you why they're trying to buy time. Most likely with the Seven of Swords. Probably haven't told you why they need more time or not telling you everything, you know, all the details. But it's been stressing them. You also have two nines here, which is also completion energy, the transformation card of the death card. So things are going to change permanently. I do see that you are open to talk to this person with Queen of Swords. You are going to be very discerning, though. You're not. You're no longer warm and fuzzy for this person. Going from the Two of Cups to this Queen of Swords, you, you'll hear what they have to say, but you're no longer um, evaluating things with emotion. You're now evaluating things, pros and cons, logically. And if this person doesn't, um, f you know, fit into whatever or what they say doesn't add up, you're, you're not with it. But heavy communication here, and it does seem like some sort of emotional expression with the Knight of Cups. Ace of Cups, the letter W or M could be important to you, but this person wants to renew this. They probably want to 
not probably they want to bring things back to um a state where it was feeling like the ace of cups they probably should have told you what the hell they had going on though you know <laughs> another five regret the five of pentacles and the five of cups all about shoulda woulda coulda lots of fives here but it also says that this change is available if you've been waiting for change looking for change wanting change it is here whether or not you're still open to it with this person, that's your business. That's up to you. I see the high priestess here. I think you already knew this person was kind of not telling you everything. You also have two twos here with the high priestess and the two of cups. The letter B and J could also be important to you. But if your intuition has been saying they've been hiding something, they have. Yeah, they have. What? I don't think you know exactly what they've been hiding. But they're definitely hiding something. They have not been, not to say hiding, but it's like omission of the truth. They just haven't been telling you. They haven't been lying about it. They just haven't been telling you what's been going on with the Seven of Swords. Guidance for Cancer, please, if this is a romantic situation. Could be dealing with the air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, another, um, another Cancer. Scorpio or a Taurus. One card for Cancer, please. But they're stressed. They're stressed. They know, you, they know that you don't play games. They know that just because you love them, that you still don't play games. Express your love. Uh huh. Romantic feelings. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. This person could have been waiting to really see if their feelings for you were real. I don't think that's it for for most of you though. Um, but there is going to be that communication with the Queen of Swords and the Knight of Cups. Someone's gonna let you know what's been going on. Maybe not fully, but it looks like moving forward, there are going to be more reliable, more dependable. Worth waiting for divine timings that work in your love life at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Cancer. Guidance, please, for Cancer. Some of you have already sort of, um, kind of, you're uh, kind of like ignoring this person. But they know your patience is wearing thin is the vibe that I'm getting. Coyote spirit number 16, which is a seven. Trust in divine detours. So you have two sevens here now. Seven, seven. Something is faded. Something is um, destined. Some sort of lucky outcome, possibly. And we have mouse spirit. Tend to the small things. I think this is what this person should have done. They should have nipped it in the bud before it got to where you're completely annoyed. Yeah, they withheld too long. They should have maybe gave you a little bit more information. So that at least this would make sense to you. But now you have nothing, no choice but to speculate. You have no choice but to speculate. And you, you know how that... that um, Imagination can run wild. <laughs> Imaginations can run wild if left unattended. Guidance, please, for cancer. cancer. More Taurus energy. Prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus. Yeah, I'm telling you. There is there is um, lots of possibility here. Or it can go real good if you choose to so indulge in it again. New moon in Taurus. Heavy um, Taurus energy. Maybe tour season could be an important time frame as well. But it, it, it will go good this time. If you want to uh, dibble dabble a bit into it. Obviously, some of you will not. I do hear you'll hold this person out. But you might, this just might be the conversation where you say, okay, that's nice and all. But I'm kind of over it. Guidance, please. Two cards. Spy. Someone got their eye on you. <laughs> you are doing your research. Yeah, that kind of very much fits into this Queen of Swords. And vacation you will be traveling soon i do get that with the cancer energy maybe some of you there could be a little um, vacation coming up or earned <laughs> but now that this person you know hasn't been around now they, they got all the time in the world to spend with you guidance please for cancer definitely could be some travel here with the um cancer energy you could be traveling alone or together Okay, we have play. Have fun, celebrate, don't be so serious. So it's saying temper this uh, Queen of Swords energy, especially if it's a family member or a friend for some of you, because not all of you is going to be a lover. It could be a friend as well. Leap. You go first, the universe will catch you. I think this is for whoever this Seven of Swords, Nine of Swords person is. And soul family calling your tribe, but you don't have to do it alone. So I guess this person's finally ready to kind of let you in now that they've kind of dealt with it themselves. But as I get, some of you this is a family member or a friend. Answer. we have here if you don't believe in yourself how can you expect anyone else to so this is all about self-confidence and don't take anyone's shit you are to be respected always so i do get someone 
could have been some sort of self-confidence issue here. But it looks like they're freeing themselves through this communication, through this conversation, through this truth. There is a freedom that this person is giving themselves from the Seven of Swords. And this is very much you. You're not taking anyone's shit. And they are very much aware of that. Okay, you're not the one to be played with. That could also be why they're speeding things up wrong. Because that chariot energy is... Let's move it. Okay? That's your reading, Cancer. Hopefully it resonates with you. Thumbs me up. Do not forget to subscribe. See you guys next week.